welcome back to my channel. It's me, Leanne. I have another haul, but this is a Sephora haul, aka every girl's nightmare because you spend so much money in that store. I went in with like, get one thing, get one thing. I got a couple things and I spent $110, guys. $110 on colored dirt. Don't even get me started. I'm just gonna get on this video because I don't want it to be too long because I already would film this like twice now, but we're gonna go with it. So the first item I picked up, which is actually one of the last things when you're getting out of the register, you know how it's like the aisle of doom where it's like all these little things are like, get me. You wait in that line and you're just like, oh, this looks cool. And you're just distracting yourself. So this is the Sephora Favorites Give Me Some Lip Box. It contains a whole bunch of lip products. I believe there, yeah. There is six lip products in here. And I believe two of them are full size. I'm not having to sure. This is $28. But it says on the box, it's a $97 value. So... I don't know, call that a win if you will, but it's just a big lips. It's just, it's a cool packet. I think that definitely draw me in. The first thing I'm gonna pull out is this. Now this is the NARS Satin Lip Pencil in this name. I cannot pronounce it for the life of me and I don't wanna bash it, but it's a cool color. This is a very neutral kind of color. It's sheer, but it definitely seems like a fillable kind of color. It's a very like pinky nude mauve if you will. <laughs> So this is a bad swatch and position to show you, but it's a cool color. So this next item is a Kat Von D studded lip stick line, whatever. It's a cool packaging. Kat Von D definitely has some really cool packaging. This is in the color Lovecraft. And this is so small when you open it. It looks like when you go to Sally Beauty Supplies when you're little and you buy those little lipsticks. That's what it reminds me of. Beautiful new kind of color. This is really matte and I feel like this might be a little bit Difficult to put on your lips just because if you have dry lips, then you're pretty much screwed. But this is very similar to the last color, but definitely more pigmented and more brown. This is the Kat Von D, and this is the NARS lip pencil. I just hope it doesn't dry up your lips. I'm not sure because I never tried any of her lip products just yet. But I have a couple more to show you. So the next product I'm actually wearing on my lips right now, and I think, don't feel like it's not, I'm pretty sure this is a full size product, but I'm not sure. But this is the Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick in the color Stepping Out. And this is definitely something that's caused me to step out my zone because it is a brown color that has a gray tone to it. It's very different from anything I own. But I like the packaging. It's very simple. I love this applicator. It's very different from a lot. Really pigmented. You do not need a lot of this product. This does dry down matte. This camera is not going to pick up the gray tone to it, but trust me, it's gray toned. Smashbox stepping out right here. Very cool color. Three more products to show you. The next one I'm not gonna be swatching, only because I do have this already and I don't want to use this until the other one is finished, which is very soon actually. This is a sample of the Too Faced Melted Liquefied Long Wear Lipstick in the shade Chihuahua. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen it before. I'm actually really happy now. I don't gotta go out of my way to purchase a full size when that one's done. So, what's up? I'll show you the packaging. The packaging is really cute. And if you're not familiar with the applicator itself, it's just a little sponge and it's actually very easy to work with. The next product I'm not sure if I'm going to use only because the smell is not appealing to me at all, but this is the Fresh brand, the Sugar Lips and Rose. It's supposed to be a tinted lip treatment and has sunscreen SPF 15. I will say I like how it screws off instead of like a regular lip balm that just pops off. It does give you quite a lot of product, I'm not gonna lie. But the smell and the pigmentation of this is not something I would waste my money on. I'm I'm trying to build color and there's like nothing. This is right here, that very sheer, and I swatched it quite a few times over and over just to try to get some color, but the smell to me is not worth it. So this next product is actually very cool and I'm pretty much 100% sure that this next product is actually a full size because I was looking at the full size products on the other side of the store of this a couple months before I actually bought this, but this is the Lancome, I believe, Juicy Shaker Lip Products in the shade 313 Boom Meringue. So I'm gonna show you how it looks when you open it. You just twist the cap off and look at this. What? What is this? I'm pretty sure everyone, every brand is gonna copy this now. And I did put some on my lips on the way home. Well, not now, because it's different. But it feels really cool. And it smells like strawberry licorice. And this is really squishy. I really like this. This is a really different product. You gotta make sure you shake it though before you apply it. This next product is another one of those little products at the checkout line. They're like, buy me. I'm like, okay, fine. So this is the Bobbi Brown Mini Shimmer Brick Compact in the shade Bronze. I really do enjoy um, Bobbi Brown's packaging just because it's so simple instead of being like, 
there's all these different flowers on me. A small square compact. Now I do like purchasing these small travel sizes just because like, you don't know how like it's gonna like work on your skin. And this is already really expensive as a small one. So why would I drop like twice the money on a bigger one if I'm not end up liking it? You know what I mean? Really cool. Now it is having a little sponge to block the mirror. So I'm not gonna take it off though. But this is so pretty. Are the colors from top of the palette to the bottom. Now some of them you can't really see on camera, but these are actually very pigmented. Oh, these are actually very pigmented and very smooth. I'm gonna swirl them all together and let you guys see how that looks. It's actually a very like simple bronze kind of shade. My camera can't pick this up. I'm very sorry. It's very cool though. And although it's glittery, it's not chunky at all. So I like it. I can definitely see myself using it. If you guys want me to do like a demo of any of these products, let me know. I might just do all of them in one video so you can see them. But I really do like this. I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of it. The next pack I got is another small one because I'm not sure if I'm going to like it. Now, I have something that's supposed to be a dupe for it from e.l.f. But I'll let you guys know if it's actually a dupe later on. But this is the NARS Blush and Bronzing Duo Powder in the Blush Orgasm in the Bronzer Laguna. This cost $24 for a small one. Jesus Christ. I like the packaging, but it's also going to collect powder on it super easily. There's a mirror right here. So this is the blush orgasm and the bronzer Laguna. Just put it where my skin is where it lies so you can see it. The bronzer is gonna be very nice on my fair skin tone. The blush is insanely pigmented. It's very pretty. I don't know how I feel with blush because I don't really use shimmery blushes or blushes ever in all reality. Next in the final item in this bag is a Bobbi Brown Longwear Gel Eyeliner Number no. 4 Violet Ink. This is $26. I'm like, <sighs> so I have a lot of black eyeliners and I didn't want to own another one because I just think it's stupid. If I'm going to waste this much money, I might as well buy something that's different for me. That's why I got the violet color. It is super deep purple, but it looks close enough to black. So if you're not someone who's like really like color eyeliner, this is something that you could definitely use. I'm pretty sure the back's gonna be out of focus, but just trust me, it says Violet Ink number four. Now this is so cool when you swatch it. It doesn't look anything spectacular in the packaging, but once you, it's a very, very different eyeliner for me, but I'm very excited to try it. The lady at the store was very kind and did give me a small sample of a body lotion. It's a very, very small sample, but you know, sample, why not? So that is all for this video. Way too damn much money for colored dirt, in my opinion. Anyways, the lighting situation is not the best. I'm sorry about that, but we will figure it out. You might as well subscribe so you will become part of my family and help me through this. I appreciate all the like support I've been getting lately. It's really sweet. If you guys did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up because I just really appreciate that. I'll see you guys on Thursday with another video. And until then, sorry if there's any changing in lighting and position in this video. My camera decided to turn off before I can even end this. Thanks. Adios.